guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to multi-million dollar homes decorated with Christmas lights. Now, this should be fun because obviously a bigger house is going to have way more surface area for, you know, different kinds of decorations and lights and structures and stuff. And also, typically, if you own a multi-million dollar house, you've got more money to throw at your decorations. You can make them more elaborate, more unique, more stylish. So it's gonna be a fun video just to see how people are, you know, decorating their homes. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who own large homes that are massive fans of Christmas, that they use this time of year to, you know, really have a lot of fun. So this should be quite cool. Let's do it. Wow. Those houses are huge. I mean, a house like this in London, you're looking at at least, at least, I'd say, a minimum five to six million pounds. seeing a lot of Christmas trees. I'm not seeing a lot of lights as of yet. I mean, that's pretty nice. That's a nice feature, that little thing there. That's cool, I like that. I like the blue, the neon blue lighting and the red. Pretty good, pretty nice. This, this is giving me like Home Alone vibes, like the McAllister's house. Does anybody know what Kevin McAllister and not Kevin, the, the dad, Kevin's dad, what he did. Because I feel like he lived in like a 50 bedroom house or something like that in that movie. Quite nice. That's interesting with the dancing lights, that kind of... Uh, light show. Now that's the best one so far. That one is really good. Must have taken ages to like put all this up. They must have hired someone to do that or got a really like tall ladder. <laughs> Not as elaborate as I would have expected, but still nice. That one's cool. What is that, like a sunflower or something? That is like five, six inches worth of snow. They're all decorated in quite a uh, minimalistic type of way. And all the houses share like a really similar aesthetic. They all have this kind of like f uh, faux brick look. Nice though. I 
love how some of these houses just haven't even bothered. <laughs> Maybe they're considering their uh, their light bills. <laughs> Big Christmas tree. That's pretty cool. This might be my favorite one so far it's quite similar to the other one that we saw with the blue lights and the yeah this is one this is different but i like this one that one's nice yeah this is really nice too No, quite tastefully decorated for sure. They've not gone over the top, but still gorgeous. Really nice houses, quite tastefully decorated. I thought, do you know what it is? Because quite recently I've reacted to the like best decorated uh, homes, Christmas decorations like in the world. I probably still had that in the back of my mind and maybe I was expecting to see stuff like that. You know, houses completely covered in lights, you know, hundreds and hundreds of like Christmas ornaments and structures placed in front of the homes. But then that's not really realistic because those are like the most elaborate ones in the world. These are still really nice for sure. You know, like they've not gone too crazy, but you still get the Christmas vibe. Like walking through there must be quite nice for sure. Really cool video. It's quite cool to see how people, you know, their people's takes on Christmas decorations and stuff. Some people go crazy, some people don't. This was somewhere in the middle, but very tastefully done. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.